internet, this is This Weekend, where we give a retrospective view of this week and past decades. I'm your host, Kuwata Kurt. And I'm Big Tom. And I'm Queen. So let's go to what happened in the second week of November in 1983. I wasn't born yet. <laughs> Microsoft formally announces Microsoft Windows for the IBM PC. This is the most elaborate product introduction in industry history. Windows is promised for release in April 1984. Bill Gates predicts that by the end of 1984, Windows would be used on over 90% of all IBM compatible PCs. And uh, uh, now look, hindsight being 2020, that's like uh, no duh. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Bill Gates went from being, um, well, I guess a moderately wealthy guy to an incredibly I well, think he knew what he was doing. I think he I think he absolutely knew. Over 90% of all IBM compatible. Yeah. I mean, it, it, wasn't it like 100%? Yeah, I think. Uh, was there a PC I, I wish, that didn't use Windows? I think that's when, when Windows when Windows came out like that was and then it. maybe the Commodore and then they yeah, they kept PC going, going, maybe going. Texas Instruments. All right, picked up. Uh Amsterdam brewer Freddie Heineken was kidnapped. I guess they took his Heine. <laughs> no, okay, thank you. Awesome power <laughs> joke. All right. <laughs> you know, that's the only reason why I put that in there. You know, they, they, they tell me don't drink and drive. I say, what is this? Pass the Heineken and mind your business. Oh, uh, I like that. Oh, you saw what I did there. Oh, yeah, that's not what you did there. Who was it? Martha Lane Collins, <laughs> a Democrat, elected first female governor of Kentucky, and W. Wilson Good elected the first black mayor of Philadelphia. Deadpool wasn't black. Excuse me? Deadpool wasn't black. Did I say Deadpool? No, you said Wade Wilson. I said W. Wilson Good. <laughs> <All right. laughs> 1983 United States Senate bombing. A bomb explodes inside the United States Capitol. No people were harmed, but an estimate of 250,000 in damages was caused. Ooh. Yeah, it was... Um... Did they ever say who took credit for that? No, they didn't say who took the credit for that one that I saw. But yeah. you, I would, 1983, I would, it's, I would just assume it was the Libyans. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like we had a, or am I just going by, because they were the ones in Back to the Future. They, yeah, they, they, had, they, they stole the plutonium. So. They stole the plutonium. They were the only ones who had plutonium. They were the only ones that needed it. <laughs> okay, top five songs this week. The... In 1983, number five, <laughs> Total <laughs> Eclipse <laughs> of the Heart, <laughs> Bonnie Tyler. Nothing I can do, the Total Eclipse of the Heart. All right. Number four, Say, 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 say Paul McCartney, say, say, and Mike, what you want, Michael. Rest in peace, Michael. We miss you, Michael. Queen, number three, Uptown Girl Uptown. by Billy Joel. You've been living with an uptown girl. You've been a right. Number two. I don't remember. That's what I am. Kenny Green and Dolly Parton. Number two. Islands in the street. That is what we are. Oh. No one in this dream. How can we be wrong? Sail away with me to another place. And when we really lie, lie, Kenny Rogers and uh -huh. Dolly Parton. Oh, that's a that's <laughs> that, Yes, that's that that's, song that's right the there. Song. And, and number, number one, <laughs> the man, Lionel Richie. All night long, all night, all night, all night. Oh, hey, thank, thank Big Tom, because what was it, last year? You it said, was last year. It was Mariah Carey and, and Lionel, Lionel Richie. Richie. And who and put on the show? Man, Lionel Richie put on a hell of a show. Can't believe how many songs that I knew by Lionel. You know Richie. the the favorite line that you told me was when he said, "Hey, this whole concert, I'm not going to be singing any songs. You know who's going to be singing those songs? The person, the guy <laughs> sitting next to you. That's who you're going to hear." Movies right. in 1983: A Christmas Story, starring Melinda Dillon. You'll shoot your eye out. <laughs> Darren McGavin and Peter Billingsley. Box office 20.6 million. Which is crazy because uh, how many times have they replayed? Like every Christmas they replay. And I think sometimes, what is it? The I think it's either TBS or Turner Music Classic. One of them, they, they, they 
play it like on a loop for the whole 24 hours. They just keep yeah. playing it uh. back to back to back. And they started in the second week of November in 1983. 1983. Still in theaters in 83. All the Right Moves starring Tom Cruise, Craig T. Nelson, Coach. and Leah Thompson. Uh, box office on this one was uh, $17 million. I think this is the one where Tom Cruise uh, plays the young cocky guy that gets the girl in the end. I didn't watch this one. I think that's all those movies. <laughs> <laughs> but Leah Thompson, I think she was doing this movie. That's why she couldn't do the second Back to the Future. No, the no, future. because I definitely believe she did do the second Back to the Future and the third. She was in She didn't three. do the first one. She was in all three. She was the mom, bro. <laughs> Nostalgia is addictive, and we're here to deliver a fatty-sized dose of it. Please like, share, and we'd like to hear from what you think. Leave us a comment below and let your opinion be heard. And this was... What, what it, it was. was. That was good. That was good. Ah, uh, uh, Adonis, pull yourself together. Pull yourself together.